In this video, let me show you how to get this free VPS without any credit card or debit card. And a cool feature about this VPS is that you have the AGP of RAM. And if you look at the ACP architecture, you have the 64-bit architecture. And one more cool thing is that you have the Docker access. That means you can put all the Docker images from the Docker Hub. Like you can pull the MySQL Docker image or you can pull the Nginx or you can even pull the NA10 and run the NA10 locally. And one more thing is that you can run all the Volama models here. For example, I am running the Llama model 3.1 here locally. Normally, if you want to run any Volama models locally, you would need at least AGP of RAM to run this. But here you can see I am running the Volama model here and I am uh, typing a prompt like right here Python 4 for the Fibonacci series. And one more thing is that you have the SSS access. That Consider I am connecting the VPS via this SSS here. So let us see how to get this free VPS without any credit card or debit card. Let's get started. As usual, let's open up your browser and in the search bar, just type Google Cloud Platform and click on the first link, Google Cloud Platform. When you log in for the first time, they will give $300 as a credit. But don't worry, you don't have to provide anything here. So just click on agree and uh, click on agree and continue. If you click on try for free, so just click on agree and continue here but you'll have to submit the payment information here you'll have to submit your uh, UPA ID or any credit card information but don't worry you will not need this to get this uh, free VPS so just go back now so let me click on back so again press back here uh, at the top on right hand side you have an option called the console so we need this console only click on console now you consider it will open up the console for us here click on continue so inside this console only we will see how to get the VPS you can see that now it is authorizing the cloud shell. Here you will have to select the Google account. It is connecting to our uh, cloud shell now. You can see now we got the uh, free VPS. And, and, and uh, one more cool thing is that even if you subscribe uh, for that plan $300, you won't charge anything if you run off of credit. That it is mentioned at the top and slightly considered. But we will leave this but and we will focus on this VPS only. And uh, let's write some comments now. Here you have a web option, session information, more, if you click on more, you have many options here. And if you want to open this in the new tab, tab you can also do that. But first, let's try some command now. So, sudo, you consider the sudo command is available. And if you want to install any package, use the sudo command. So, if you want to install Python, just type sudo apt install python. You consider it starts installing the python package. Similarly, you can also install any other package. Let's start the Python package now. You consider now the Python package has been installed successfully. And if you type the Python, you consider it open up the Python interpreter. Here you can run the Python script like print hello world. And you can also run any Python script here itself. So let me exit this Python interpreter and let me clear the screen. And if you want to see the what other folders are available, just type df if you consider. And we have a uh, hundred GP of storage. And if you want to open this in the editor option, you consider here we have the editor uh, option as well so let me open this in new op uh, window if you and if you want to open this in the new window just click on that you consider click on this icon it will open up the uh, terminal in the new tab you consider now we have the terminal in the new tab right this is cool right let me clear the screen and and if you want to see how many free spaces available just a free hyphen edge you consider currently we have a egp of ram now and we have used one gp of the remaining we have something there and if you want to see this ap architecture just like lsfu and we consider we are having a 64 bit architecture and we have two four CPUs and remaining all the information about the CPU is this uh, listed here. Let me clear the screen now. And if you type the Docker command, you consider now Docker is available. For example, let's go to the Docker hub to pull any Docker image. So you can use the Docker pull command to pull any Docker image. So let's go to the Docker hub now. Let me go to Docker hub. Let's open up this website. And uh, you can search this the Docker Hub website. And inside this, let's search for a specific image now. Let me search for MySQL. So this is really basic image, Docker image. So let me open up this MySQL Docker image now. There are lots of images available out there. You can also try the NA10. So if you want to pull it, just copy this command and paste it here. So let me clear this and paste it here and press enter. You can see that it starts pulling the Docker image. You can see that it starts pulling the MySQL Docker image. So this is how you install any Docker image. So this is how you pull any Docker image you inside this of the players. You can see that it starts exciting. Once it is done, you will see a message like uh, successful. And if you want to run this, if you scroll down, you can see here we have the some option here. If you want to run the MySQL image. 
So, but in this video, I won't show you how to do that best because if I show that, then it, this video length will be huge. So, I will skip this. You consider if I type the Docker hyphen A. Currently, no container is running, but if you copy and paste the command, the Docker image will run successfully. This is one feature, and one more full feature is that you can also run any Volama models. Father, let's go to the Volama website now. So, let's open up a new tab and let's head over to their website. So, just type Volama and let me open up this Volama website now. And if you click on download now, Volama is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac over here. So, click on download and let's me switch to Linux since Google Cloud Shell is a Linux machine. Right? Let me copy this and paste it here since curl is also available. So, paste paste it here and press enter you consider it as downloading the Volama models and if you want to see what other models are available just click on github link consider currently uh, if you scroll down currently these are the models are available and many more models are available this is a sample of what are the models are available just giving you a sample games and uh, you consider it as downloading while that is downloading we can scroll these models here and uh, uh, 35 percent is completed now we consider now the volume model has been successfully installed you consider the volume model is now available and if you take the volume if you get any orco server it is that means the volume has been installed successful let's first start the volume server now to start the volume server just type volume so and press enter you consider now the volume server has been started and we need to open another terminal so that we can run the volume scripts that so just click on that press icon now let me click on press icon you consider now we got another terminal in one terminal, Volama server is running. In another terminal, we will run the Volama model. So let's go to the Volama website. Here we can choose any model. Let's choose the minimum size model now. So for example, I'm going to choose the Moon Ring. This is the smallest model available out there. Just 800 MBs. Let me copy this and paste it here. You can see that it starts pulling the Moon Ring model now. And the size of this model is also pretty small. Only small, 800 MBs only. So, this downloading we need to wait for a bit. It is verifying the SHA 256 digest. The model has been successfully pulled. You consider we got a success message and we have an interpreter as well. Here, in this interpreter, you can type hi, how are you? Since this model size is very low, I don't think that reply will be as good of as other models. So, you consider even if you type hi, how are you? We didn't get any response. Let's try who are you? And you consider for this who are you prompt we get this random uh, numerical response because this model we didn't try on huge data sets so that's why we didn't get any proper output so let's try for a larger model as well so let's go for a little bit larger one maybe 2GP or 3GP so let's try that now so if you open up the Olama website one more time and this time let's try to choose uh, this one Lama 3.2 1 billion parameter so instead of running this moon ring let me stop now to stop just type slash by this will end the console now it is entered so let me clear the screen and press the copy and paste the command now we consider it starts downloading the llama 3.2 1 billion parameter and the size of this model is also pretty huge now nah? huge but it is also trying on a fair amount of data set that you can get accurate a response compared to the moon ring. Now the model has been successfully installed. Let's wait for the interpreter now. Now we got the interpreter right. Let's ask some question now. Write your Python code. Finally we got some nice up response now. I can write a Python script for you. What would you like the Python script to accomplish? So we need to give you a more specific of Python script. So I need the Python code for the Fibonacci series. If I say that here's an example of your Python program that generates and prints the Fibonacci series up to a specified number of terms and you start writing the Python code as well. Isn't this amazing? You can run the Volama models inside this free videos itself. We consider it as successfully given as the Python strip for the Fibonacci series and it also gave us a sample output. So isn't this amazing? Now let's move on to the SSS pass now. Let me end this uh, Volama server now. Let's go to the SSS now. So if you type the SSS HX SS, so let's open up a new tab and the new tab just type SS HX SS HX. So this is the website. Open this and uh, we have to install it. Just click on get starter. So for Linux, we have to copy this command. So let me copy this and paste it here and press enter. 
consider the stars installing the SSHX. You consider now the SSHX has been installed. Sub. So we will just have to run the SSHX to start the SSX server. So let me type SSHX. Consider it has given up a URL. Let me click on this URL now. It will open up the SSHX server. Here we have to give our name. And using this, any number of users can connect to this uh, VPS. You consider I am the one user. Not, and uh, similarly, if you share this link to anyone, that user also connect to this uh, SSS. So we consider if you want to open up a terminal, just click on the press icon now. Now we got this uh, free VPS inside the SSS, right? And if you want to see what are the whatever models that we have installed in that VPS, and we can also uh, view that here also. So to view that all the models that we have installed that that in VPS, we can list here by using a command called Olama list. Just type Olama list. You consider we have installed two models, right? Lama and Moonring. That two models are listed here, Olama and Moonring. And uh, if you want to run any model, you can also run Olama run Lama 3.2 1 billion parameter. You consider, isn't this amazing? The beauty about this SSHX is that any number of users connect, connect to this and interact with it. Currently, only one user is there, that is me, and you can share this link to anyone, and that user also can do this and interact with this uh, VPS. So, let's ask some prompt now, write here Python step 5. The same Fibonacci series or odd and even number. Write the Python code for the odd and even number. You consider it starts giving us the response. Python is starts running the Python code now. So, you consider it starts generating the Python code. So, yeah, this is how you get a free VPS without any credit card or debit card. So, this is for this video, and I will continue in the next one.